Welcome back to Life is Aisha, and today I'm coming back to you all with yet another Sneaker Friday. I know, it's Friday already again. Like, can you believe the week has just passed by? I can't either. So today, it's a special Sneaker Friday because I have like two other videos that was already pre-filmed, but I'm filming this one and today is Wednesday. I mean, no, today, yeah, today's Wednesday. Oh my God, my mind's all over the place. Today's Wednesday. And this is a special delivery because it just came yesterday and I wanted to film yesterday, but time did not permit for me to. So I said, you know what? I won't be thirsty. <laughs> I'll calm down and I'll film this review when I have the ample time to do it. So if you all follow me on social media, you know that I was super excited about this pair of shoes. For one, it was a sneakers win. Like y'all know how I feel about that app. And not only was this a sneakers win, it was an exclusive access, meaning that I got exclusive access. These don't release until officially tomorrow. Um, September 10th is the actual release date for these pairs, for this pair of shoes. And the pair of shoes is the Dunk Low Community Garden. The Dunk Low Community Garden, aka the Lemon Wash. That's the complete name for it. The actual box name says Nike Dunk Low SP Multicolor um, slash Lemon Wash. These did retail for a hundred dollars. There's the little, you know, you can see the box. Um, my only knock on this pair is the box. Um, I don't know why. I, I mean, I hadn't seen any reviews or anything, obviously, because I don't know too many people that had these or have these already or reviews that are out. But I just expected the box to be different. I don't know why. Um, like the off-white boxes, they're all different and stuff. And I think like the Travis Scott, like the collabs, I, you know, I think certain pairs get special boxes. And I just figured since this is a community garden and it's kind of like giving the cactus plant flea market type of vibes um, and Travis Scott vibes in my opinion. So I just thought that I was going to get a special box. I'm not a fan of this red and white Nike box. Like I expected more Nike. If you happen to see this video, Next time, give us a community garden box. Like, the shoes are supposed to be made of all, like, recyclable materials and things of that, which I will get into in just a moment. But, come on now. This is just too plain Jane, in my opinion. Okay, so, without further ado. <laughs> I really need to chill. Okay, without further ado, these are the shoes. Like, dun, dun, dun. That was so extra. Okay, so I did get these in the six half, which is equivalent to an eight in width. It came at the perfect time. It's like a, the perfect shoe to tr transition into fall. I mean, look at it. Like, look at it. And it's different. And I love different things. Like, this is something that you're gonna have to really figure out, like, how am I going to wear this shoe? Am I gonna pull out this blue, which, um, let me go to my, cause I got a couple notes here. You know, I wanted to do this review justice. So I'm going to my notes here and what does it say? Okay. The colors, <laughs> shout out to my girl Naj, cause I know she's going to get a kick out of this, but the colors are turquoise, hold on, <laughs> are midnight turquoise, which is this blue here. And this yellow is lemon wash yellow uh okay let me wash and yeah so let's get into the shoe like i said the shoe comprises mostly basically a canvas shoe like um i don't know if anyone remembers when i think nike did a couple packs but nike did a air force one um canvas pack way back like i think i was seven or eighth grade because i had the green pair and the orange pair but if i think of a picture i mean not if I think of. If I can find a picture, which I know I can, it'll be right up here or right up here. And they had like a translucent bottom. And it was the same color and the midsole of it was all white. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know down below. But um, yeah, those were always... Why do people want to call me? I'll tell you, I don't get calls until I am getting ready to film. I kid you not, never happens. Like... I be sitting at home like, dang, nobody want to call me. But anyway, okay, so the shoelaces are really nice to me. They match the swoosh of the lemon wash color. I feel like they could have gave us an extra set of laces. You know, 
I'm gonna be I'm honest with my reviews like it's a lot of things that they did right but it, there are a couple things that they could have did differently the bottom of the shoe um the sole of the shoe as you can see right here it's that same kind of lemon wash color but it is a slight different variation I feel like this is more of a lemon color but the um, sole of the shoe does have more of a grayish undertone too I mean not grayish greenish yellow undertone like um, I can I'm getting hints of green but I think it's because it has like little like specks of that midnight turquoise in it and um, what I have what I did notice right off the bat about the sole is that the bottom is like more softer and more um, smoothed out than the typical dunk low sole like um, as you can see right here at the top of the toe box um, sole area whatever it's called um, they always have like little stars kind of embedded there um, I don't know if you can see it but if you own a pair of dunks you know what I'm talking about and they're like kind of like normally it's like an embossing where you can really feel it but with this pair it's not like very um evident so to speak like you can see it but you you barely can feel it so that's a difference um i don't know if it's because they did use our recycled canvas type of materials and um the shoe is all about um sustainability and recycling and all of those things so um this shoe is very environmentally friendly another cooler thing about the shoe is that no pair is the same so um you see how the patterns are on the shoe it's kind of like um some floral patterns then you have um right here is kind of like a little paisley like type of print like inside embedded in the shoe like you really have to look closely to really understand and get like what all this shoe is giving you but yeah no two pairs are the same so even if I show you the right shoe well this is the left shoe like let me show you the right shoe and it's even some differences differences in the shoe especially right here on the side panels of the shoe you can actually see more of the difference in it and also on the heel of the shoe um, it's 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 really close and similar, but keen eye for details, you, you understand what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, I thought it was a super dope um, pickup. Ecstatic about having it. I see this shoe resale being extremely probably high for it. Maybe not like at the beginning, but I know it's going to rise up. I am ex excited that I did get ex exclusive access. Like, I don't know. The shoe gods, the sneaker gods were working in my favor that day. And yeah, that's how it happened. Fun fact, and well, it's not really fun fact, but a funny fact about it is that I did get a notification from the sneakers app the night before, kind of like the evening before, and it popped up. It was like um, team early, and then it had a picture of the shoe, like they came to my notification. So you know, I'm like, oh my god, like, it's, am I gonna be able to grab the shoe? So I click the notification, I go to it, and I see it underneath the um, message system, the message system under sneakers. And I'm looking under it and you know I read it and I'm just like okay this is just giving me information about the shoes and literally telling me nothing else I X off the app not thinking anything else about it I was like let me go on Twitter let me go to some sneaker links Let's, let me see if somebody said check access you know how you get those notifications so I'm like I haven't seen nobody say anything so I'm just really confused right now I'm like what the heck what's that so I'll go back to the app to look at it again let me tell you this it was nowhere to be found it was like it was the figment of my imagination I said you know what Nobody's gonna even believe me because I don't have the I don't have a screenshot of this. I can't go into the app and show you where it was, but I'm like, they sent me something about Team Early and they had this shoe, and I was just like, what is this about? So the very next day, um, it was like early that morning because sneakers normally release at 10 Eastern, so I'm in Central Time Zone, so it's nine o'clock Central Time Zone, and. I got a notification to my phone about exclusive access and I'm like could it be is it really <laughs> so I go click on it and it was like you have exclusive access yada 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 so of course per buy add to cart purchase do my little facial recognition bam they didn't stall at all they said got them you got the shoot I was just like seriously like seriously I couldn't believe it of course I text some people I was like would you believe it look at what I done came across this morning so yeah that's my <laughs>
the end of my story my cop story but i thought it was super cool hopefully sneakers throws me a couple other wins throughout the year um the very next day i took an l on the baroque browns or the um what, what's the other name for them the biohack ones so i am in a market looking for those but you know you win some you lose some and i do feel like this was a very good win for the simple fact that dunks are a high commodity i remember there was a time frame where dunks kind of like died down a little bit unless you were like really in the skater community and you were like you know heavy into sbs you were you weren't really checking for dunks as much me personally i've always loved dunks they just stopped releasing them like that and the what the availability was always really minimal so now they're released on a more wider scale and now of course with sneaker culture and hype beast culture intertwined into the two it's hard to get your hands on anything like you're lucky to get anything and i don't take it for granted like i just you know let i roll with the punches like if i take an l if i take 10 consecutive l's and i get one w like i mean who can who am i to be bad about it like I think that's where the misconception comes in is that people think that they deserve a pair and they were supposed to get that pair like it's a million people trying to get like a hundred thousand shoes so you subtract a hundred thousand from a million people and so you see how many people are gonna not get the shoe you get what i'm saying so yeah <laughs> But um, also, um, I said in my last video, make sure you follow me on my sneaker page on Instagram, Soul of Kicks. Also, next week, I will be on an upcoming episode of um, with Grails Inc. I don't have a whole lot of information about it. Um, maybe before I post this video, I'll be able to add some information to my description box. But long story short, it is a sneaker um, related Instagram page. They do interviews with people that are like you know involved into the sneaker culture are sneaker enthusiasts sneaker heads you know i feel like i fit the bill of all three of those and yeah the guy reached out to me he said he wanted to you know chat with me about some things show off a couple of items in my collection i'm like let's do it so um yeah i will be going live um if you follow me on instagram as i said before this will be on my personal page at underscore life as aisha um you will see um, if you get your you have your notifications turned on you'll see that i am going live so click it you know see what i'm talking about you know get into my mind a little bit what i think about sneakers all <laughs> and yeah Cheers to more opportunities like that. I hope it goes well. In my next Sneaker Friday, I will more than likely I'll be discussing it because that is next Tuesday unless anything changes. So, yes, as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I see you next Friday. Thank you for watching.